Greetings, wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our New Digest. This day, Friday, the 21st day of October 2022. And we must say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. This is coming from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news across Biafra land. Just want to take a quick look at this. Uh, this is the husband to the Bintanyakos, uh, the judge. That was handling the case of Mazen Namdekan. And um, he's the ex governor of Adamawa State. Of course, he was involved in a 29 billion naira um, fraud that has been on his neck for a long time. And uh, that is why the court is holding him down as well, including the son. And uh, this is what they are involved in. And you can see the reason why the justice Bin Sanyoko refused to do the need for. That is the reason why she decided to swallow the entire truth. Why won't such a thing come to them? They see the truth. They will not execute the truth as a judge she is. But this is the husband. And um, they are, are filing a new application that the lawyer that is defending him has to be changed at this critical time when his case is about to have face. They want to make the pronouncement of the case. Of course, the court rejected it. A federal high court in Abuja on Wednesday rejected a new lawyer bill to represent the former governor of Adamao State, Motala Nyako, in a 29 billion naira. And the money that was laundered and uh, that charges was brought against him by the EFCC. Well, uh, this is that. After how many years? They continue trying to change lawyer at this particular point in time. Of course, you know the things that follow. This is the reason why Bintanyako continue adjoining, readjoining, and continue adjoining. Uh, then the case of Mazen Namdekan. Well, of course, you see this is a situation of things. So following that, just want to tell you uh, the latest development coming from Anambra. Of course, some of you must have heard it. Uh, the governor of Anambra State, Soludo Chalewan Bafo have decided to ban bet niger bet this bet that well i think it's a good development yes i like that because it is causing a lot of issue within our youth although some youths are frowned against it um it will actually make our youth to be more resourceful uh, because if you check it the amount of money they spend in bet niger naira bet and other sorts of gambling casinos you find out that they are the one losing. By the time they will play it for seven years, they might sometimes win once. And that was the win we're not going to hear. And if they try to be resourceful to use the money they are making, inject it in a particular channel that will give them a meaningful return, I think that will be meaningful. Those people that are involved in this, betting this, it doesn't really contribute to the economic upgrade of our people. And individually, that's where we are talking right now. I think uh, what Saluda did, I'm supporting it. Although so many of them are really frowning at it. <laughs> we don't look at their face because what he is doing at this point um, is the right thing in the right direction. Uh, our great leader, Mazen Nandekano, he made us to understand that even when you are oppressor, one along the line decide to do something benevolent, something honorable, still commend him. And that is what we've come to learn. This that Saludo did is very, very important. And it is necessary that we really give him kudos. And we advise our people, if you get your 1 Naira, your 100 Naira, your 500 Naira, your 1,000, find a way to channel it in a, in, in, should I say, trade or an investment in anything that is resourceful. It will go a long way to be protected. If you don't know what to do, use it to buy guava and plants. In time to come, that guava will yield. You can plug the guava and eat or sell. Even orange, even purple, those ones can go a long way. If you don't know what to do with your 100 naira or your 200 naira, I'm giving you a good advice here. Governor Chukwu Masalud of Anambra State has banned the operations of casinos and gaming centers in the states, including Beth Niger, over alleged dark deals. Popular gambling services in the Zoological Republic, including Bet Niger. 1960 Bet, <laughs> there are so many names. Naira Bet, Niger Predicts, and Bet Nigeria. Oh, <laughs> I think they will, they will increase to so many of them. 
the notice of the ban is contained in a statement jointly signed by the Commissioner for Culture, Entertainment and Tourism, Mr. Donatu Sonyenji, Chairman of Nambra State Internal Revenue, Richard Madiebo, and the Commissioner for Homeland Affairs, Chikode Anara. So that's that. It is a welcome development in the right direction. On following some of the incidents and the state of the nation going on in our area, earlier today, some truck drivers decided to let their grievances known by blocking some of the road with their truck in their the demonstration and giving solidarity in order to warn the federal government of the Zoological Republic that they must adhere to the appeal court order ruling on the case of Mazen Namdi Khan. They did that by blocking the roads some of the in some of the eastern parts. There is a very big road up we have because of the rain. We can see all the rain. Oh, I'm going to be able to do it. Both men are three. Both men are there. Because of the rain, I'm going to be able to do it. We need to be able to do it. We need to be able to do it. I found it. And after that, we find out that um, some of the infiltrators, like the Bubago, the DSS, the military, the police, went to Anambara, Imo State, the Athazis, and started setting trucks ablaze. Why? Because they are trying to sabotage the economy in the eastern region. They are trying to see. How do we inflate the price of goods and services, of transportation, of bringing in goods that is ongoing in the eastern region? They really want to put the importers, as well as individuals, in a tight corner. That is why they did that. Uh, you know, they always utilize any opportunity that comes up. But in everything, we are working so hard, trying to sensitize our people of things that are going on in the Zoological Republic, in our areas, for them to make sure that we are marching forward. We continue saying this, but most of you might not really understand it. We are marching forward. The legal team has equally assured our people, anywhere you are, that nothing is going to happen. The Mazen Namdi Khan is coming out. It doesn't matter the effort that the Zoological Republic government is putting, even though they've gone to Supreme Courts. The legal team has rest assured us that finally victory and praises song must be sung. Again, we are still bringing to the knowledge of our people, wherever you might be, as regard to level of law that is going on in the eastern region. We know it's not really easy, and we know the reason why we bring it to you, to your knowledge, each day that we come here to tell you about the condition of our people. Look at it around you you find out that there is insecurity everywhere. There is high cost of living. Every item, every food stuff you are seeing, yam from yam to rice, to everything, fish, meat, a goosey or bueno, all of them that you can think of, their prices have skyrocketed at this particular point in time. And to cap it up, to worsen the internal insecurity and condition, flood has roughed so many places in Biafra land. Why do we bring you this information? We are bringing it to you because it has not stopped. It's still encroaching to some other places. So sometimes you might try to see how you can save life, how you can prepare in advance. If it has not, not knocked at your own door, try to prepare, try to put one or two things in order. So in case it comes and we had the shoe coming to knock at your door, then you know how to move. In Bayasta, Bayasta State, in River State, in Anambara, some parts of Imo State. Well, and if you move down towards um, the Middle Belt, Benue State, Kogi State, Adamawa, all these areas are being ravaged by flood. And the Zoological Republic government have not seen what they are doing. In case you have seen, you can as well report, you can as well let us know. Everything depends on the masses, on the individual, it's just not some... Um, um, yesterday or so that P2B went to visit some places that have been ravaged by, by flood. I've never seen any other person that, is, that has done something meaningful. But that's by the way. We are telling our people individually, try to get yourself prepared. 
Of course, I saw a long python today. That was uh, <laughs> people caught the python because uh, of the flood. The flood made the python to come out. And sometimes you won't believe that it's such a um, lengthy python is living within you. And these are the things we should put in place. And apart from that, um, today in Iguacha, a youth started making their movements in solidarity, or should I say memorial, to the October 28, 2020, um, of what really happened in Lake Togate, um, you know, answers. So they said today is their memorial day for it. But today is, um, okay, today is the 21st. So I wonder why most of them are carrying it out today. Of course, not only in Lake Togate that that's happened. You recall what happened in um, Obibu, because you have weak. And that is why IPOB and WIC, uh, we have made, moved to criminal courts. Of course, when he come out and they believe that he's innocent, then, then, then we will know. But for the meantime, he has to go and answer for himself. That is that. Time has come when everybody will bear the mother's name. This time, not the father's name. Because sometimes you see our fathers used to marry many wives. So when a situation gets to this point, you will see them at this point. We thank you for listening. These are just the states of the nation we are bringing to you. We will bring you more details. Stay tuned as we continue bringing you things that are unfolding in Biafra Land as well as in Zoological Republic. And if you like what we are doing here, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as to give us thumbs up and share our videos to those who might need it. We remain beer friends. Of course, we say that it is in beer friends and that all of us have our citizenship. And until beer friends will be restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.